D when she applied for it. One of the things Awilda did after gaining full custody of her daughter was to withdraw her from school. On March 14, 1995, an anonymous letter was sent to the Manhattan Child Welfare Authorities, stating that Awilda Lopez had cut off a significant amount of Elisa's hair and had started to lock her in a dark room for extended periods of time. Sadly, no one checked in to see how Elisa was doing. Some neighbors did report their suspicions of child abuse to child welfare authorities, however, no effective action was taken. Awilda subjected her daughter Elisa to a range of abuses and indignities, some of which were witnessed by Elisa's siblings. These included repeated punching and kicking, forcing the child to eat her own feces or drink ammoniated water, using Elisa's head and face to mop the floor, inflicting burns on her head, face, lips, and body, sexually violating her both vaginally and anally with a hairbrush or toothbrush, hanging her from a shower rod for entertainment, and dropping a chest of drawers on her finger and toe. Elisa Izquierdo's life and death became the subject of widespread media attention, both in New York City and across